Okay, this is going to be a little short video um, on the goggle setups that I do for my helmet and for my team. Uh, what we're doing is you have a, a mesh mask still in the bag here. I'll put links to these descriptions uh, uh, in the description for all this. Here's a particular set of goggles I'm going to attach to this. And here's how I'm going to attach them. Now, as an example, and I'll show all these here, here's a, uh, this is a uh, over the wire uh, goggles and a face mask that I have. This has a fan on it. And I've attached it here with two wire ties. And this fits here excellent and you don't have to worry about any gaps or anything like that. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit on this so you can see. And of course there's the uh, wire tie right there that I put and as you can see there's no gap. That's just one example. There is uh, These are another set of goggles that I got. These are Valken goggles that I had with this uh, skull face mask. And I let this one, I actually left the uh, strap on here. So you're, you're holding the goggle on your face with the strap, but it has the mesh mask attached so you're all in one shot. It makes it easier to take the goggle on and off. Now, this third one is a safe face goggle which are the easiest ones to work with and this is a mesh mask that I got uh, from Amazon. Simple bending I just bend the nose piece down a little bit and off to the, and, and widen it out a little bit and there's very minimal gap here right above the nose here. Now you can force this down and get it in there a little bit better which it does and there are two spots which I put the uh, wire ties. I'm going to zoom in when I do the wire ties on this one so you get an idea how I'm doing it on this setup here. And this one has the strap on here. The strap holds the goggle on and the mesh mask goes with it so that you're all in one piece when you're taking it on and off. I have these three here for people when they're coming to the uh, field case they need a set of goggles and I want to keep them with face mask. Now what I want to show you is you know, my helmet and using this strap setup which is here this is a little different one this is a, also a, a safe face goggle that I have and I have the uh, mesh mask here and I have three points in the center keeping it tight and on either side and with the straps I can hook up either with the velcro on the back of the helmet here to the spots here or I can use a strap set of goggles and run it through these holders here the only reason I don't like that, it seems to keep that goggle too tight on your face. Now if you're wondering about this piece right here, this uh, sort of weight bag that I have here, it has a red switch on the top, which I've done a video on, and this has a fan in the top, so that when you press the button, it blows air into the helmet, sucks it in, blows it in, so works out great. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show start to finish. The setup on that just uh, for use on a helmet or just normally with like I have with the straps on there. One other thing I want to touch on is when I cut the straps I actually have extra bungee cord here which you can use to repair other straps if you have but Amazon does sell uh, the stretchy bungee strap that you can use to fix uh, the existing straps that you have. So that is another option that I have for some of the straps to fix them. So what we'll do is we'll start by taking these, they're Pyramex goggles, they're dual, plane, uh, dual pane 
thermal goggles. Um, they have what I call the uh, side pieces on here so you can wear them like goggles or they do have straps we can put on here and what we're going to do is we're going to put the straps on or not put them on. Um, these clip on in place. This particular goggle itself has the uh, strap with the clips on it here. So we'll, that's what we're going to do. First we're going to unhook this from the goggles, the side pieces. Okay, put them on the side. Um, you now have the goggle by itself and these straps will clip on here. But what I want to do is I'm going to take this mask out of the bag bag on the side and as you can see the the mask itself has a strap okay we're gonna lose that because we're gonna attach the goggle directly to the mask now as you can see from here uh, see it on the side the got the mask sticks uh, is way in so we're gonna have to do is flex it out okay so that it matches the profile of the goggles. Too much flex. Okay. And now you can see the nose piece here is a little too thick. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by bending, bending this in with a pair of pliers to get it to a sharper point. I then, as you can see, fits right in there tight. There's no gap with the goggle. Okay, so I might need to bend that just a tad more. What I usually do too is I bend the top down a little bit so that when it goes in there, fits better. Now that might be too much down, so let's put it back up a little bit. Okay, and that is actually going in there and it's a pretty, pretty nice fit. I need to tighten this up a little bit. And there, that's a nice tight fit in there. Okay, so we still have to flex the goggle, the mask out a little bit, which I've done. And a little bit more. Okay, now that's running pretty much level with the goggles, all the way across. It's a tight, it's a tight fit all the way across. Um, just for the heck of it all, I'll zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing here. See, it's it's a tight fit to the nose, and once you get the uh, zip ties here, it'll be good. And then when you what you can do is you can bend this back out to actually this side here. You can bend this back out to go alongside the face. Okay. Okay, that's the prep of the goggles. Now. With this particular one, you can actually keep this strap on and just wire tie the goggles on. And then the strap from the head, from the mask, would actually be what you're using to tie everything up. So the way I'm looking at this, this has very heavy plastic things that move, where this only has the little clips on the side. Okay, they're not very, I don't, I don't want to try to wire tie something fast to hear or even let's uh, put this out let's try to do something with this uh, bungee here it's very tightened up tied fast which this is considered two pair but I use one of each what I use is the loop and I usually use the loop around here somehow and tighten it up but because there's no actual like spot to put this through, I might use the mesh mask itself to uh, tighten up with the strap. So we're going to try to get the goggles fast on here. And then we'll try to put the bungees on here and see how they work out. Okay, on these i 4 so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually show you something here. Get zoom right in here on this. Okay, you see this, uh, I'll use a screwdriver to point it out. You see this part 
right here, this rubber. Putting the uh, wire tight through here and then through a section here on the mask. I'm going to punch a hole through here and punch a hole through there and that's going to be my wire ties on the side. It'll still allow the foam that's on the inside here to be pressed against your face. So you have foam against your face rather than having the mesh mask against your face. So I'm going to do that and then show you where I did it. Okay, now unlike the uh, safe face which have soft rubber places to put through the frame and things like this. This had a hard rubber frame. Let's see here. And as you can see, I had to drill a hole through this frame right here on both sides. There's a better look at it. On both sides for the wire tie to go through. Now I'm going to match that up with a corresponding spot on the mesh mask itself, like so, and then put a wire tie through to hold it. Alright, I'm going to show that in a minute. Okay, what I've done is, and I'll push through so you can see, is I made the hole in there, putting the uh, end of the wire tie on the outside in through back through the loop and back out and tighten them up. Okay, trying to get as close as a seal as I can to leave the foam on the inside. Okay, so what we're going to do now, and as you can see I had extra wire ties. I did screw one up when I put it in there. I am going to cut one up, cut the excess off so it's not sticking out. Okay, now as you can see this is formed pretty good with the goggles here. Matter of fact, right there. Pretty good right there. Now what we want to do is, I should have done it more, I should have bent this top part down more so it would fit in there better. So I might take the uh, wire ties off and bend that down a little bit more. Uh, I thought I had it bent down enough, but I guess I don't. So I want to get that bent down a little bit more and that will give me better uh, clearance here and uh, cover my nose a little bit better. So I'm going to cut the ties and put it back together again. Okay, this proved to be a little harder than I was uh, thinking it was going to be. The uh, Pyramex glasses have very little uh, in the way of uh, stuff to grab, but what I did in the center, which I'm hoping is not going to be an issue, is I put a wire tie through here and here and just use the two ends Let's see if I can get that in video two ends to hold it in place it doesn't seem to get in your line of sight and I'm going to put it on here and I'm using the strap from the from the mesh mask and it's got a good seal got all the fingerprints in here got a good seal tight to my face it's a little loose on the top, but this is made for a helmet, so the helmet would be down here. Now, technically, I want to get the strap on here. It pulls the mask. It, usually, I want to pull the goggles, but this is pulling the mask. So, I might have to do... This is pulling the mask. It does fit and stay on there, but there is a gap on the top. With the helmet on there, it shouldn't have a problem, but I want to pull the goggles back like that, a little flatter. So they do a better seal. I might work on that and see how it works on the helmet. Okay, I do have these on and there is a big gap if you can't see it there. Right here on my forehead. So I have to readjust these somehow. Get them, get them somehow tighter because they're, they're a lot of area up here. These Pyramex goggles, they're good for maybe a sniper or something like that. If you want to use this as a face mask for a sniper with a boonie hat, uh, for the helmets, they don't seem to be working that good. Um, so this was sort of a fail, trying to get it to work for this, but uh, I might mess around with it some more and see if I can get it to fit better. Bottom line on this, as a mask to use with a helmet, um, it's just too 
low of a profile. But as a standalone mask, using the attached goggle strap or side straps like this, they can change off on this. Got a nice tight seal on the top, around the eyes, and the face mask conforms to it all in one shot. And it has a buckle right here in the back where you can, if I can find it, press and take it off and clip it back together. This uh, arms here also has a buckle here that you can press and take apart as well. So I'm probably just going to use this as a standalone uh, mask or sell it if somebody sell it if somebody wants uh, to have it. The $20 setup right here um, using the Pyramex goggles and the face mask. So uh, this was going to be a how-to video. <laughs> And I should have really used a different uh, goggle set, but this is actually a nice goggle set for somebody. Maybe somebody on my team will want to buy it. All right, thanks for watching. You have a good day. What the fuck was that?